All right, it's time for the final part of Star Fox. You ready for the last assault on Venom? I sure am. This level is a doozy, and well, it starts off really nice. Look at those moving platforms. You want a break here? Just saying. I'll actually keep you out of the trajectory of most of them. It's like dominoes almost. These platforms will fall on you. They will do so at an incredibly fast rate, and this is where I started doing really, really bad. But anyways, there's just a lot to avoid. These platforms are back. You want to shoot them so they fall, so they don't jump on you, or they, you know, back up, so you have more to avoid. I actually don't move side to side like the blue platforms in Corneria, except sometimes they do. It's kind of weird because some of them do, some of them don't. I think maybe they're shifting color. My bad. Mm. Oh my gosh, Peppy got hit! And here I thought I was gonna get a perfect streak. Darn it all, Andros. You ruined my perfect save people score. Oh, by the way, I shoot this, and then Peppy shoots it, and he gets me half-life gone. Thanks, Peppy. I can see that you want me to become like my father indeed, in more ways than one. <laughs> so yeah, shoot these platforms so they go the opposite direction. There's a twin blaster there if you need it. The blue ones will shift to one side, and when they're on a side you want them to go, shoot them. The red ones, you just shoot them opposite. Checkpoint there. We have kind of like a Andros version of Stonehenge. There's not all that much to avoid at this particular point. It's a nice little breather for all the stuff you just had to go through. And here we have towers again, and more guys from Macbeth. And yeah, they're going away from you. Oh yeah, and these popping in boxes, oh my gosh, they're so annoying. Stay to the left, for the most part. Tilt towards the left too. You can mostly avoid them if you do that. I'm not too sure if the right does the same, but... Ooh boy, these all form form a wall and you can fly through barely. <laughs> Hope you got that break on standby. Andros is throwing in all the stops to stop you from getting to him. And here we go. The second match with the great commander. Who eh he's not that bad, but he still takes a bit of patience to take out. They form into a fighting robot. A super fighting robot, even. Their weak point is that the lower half will open up that hatch right there, and they'll shoot bowling balls at you. Or cannonballs, sorry. They look like bowling balls. But just keep up this pattern. They'll start shooting a ton of cannonballs at you like this. They'll, it'll be a chain, like, almost unable to shoot during it. And they'll also shoot missiles a fair bit, too. The missiles will occasionally give you life. You can avoid these things while he's spinning like this if you just keep up a constant pattern of avoidance. Get as many shots in as you can. This is the most, um, this is the part you have to be most patient in, and then when they reward you with stopping, you shoot it. He'll occasionally lob, like, four at once to try to hit you at one point. Just move out of the way. And after that, it splits into two forms, or, you know, it splits into the two remaining body parts. One is its spinning body, the other is the floating head. Shoot the head. The um, spinning body does not really do that much other than, you know, stop you from being a certain altitude or it just hits you. So, but you can just stay where it's not and shoot the head, blow it up, and it's done. So overall, the great commander's not too bad, but... Sometimes, if you have like single fire or double fire, it might be harder. And it's time to go in for one last ride.
Andros is quite excited. Because he's like, oh, you chose the hardest route. Your father was reckless too. Don't die like he did. And folks, be prepared to see the worst flag you've seen in this entire playthrough. Yeah, this isn't that hard. Just, just keep up with the pace and turn when you need to. Don't lose your wings and don't get smashed into the wall. This will totally go well. This will be the McLeod's last battle. I shall take my place as the Highlander. Well, to be fair, he is a floating head. Same strategy as before. Not really changed that much. Except with single fire, it's going to take you quite some time. Break to avoid this as usual. Avoid the stream, which I think is a little more... You know, there's a lot more to it, maybe? I don't know. So yeah, about that um, single fire. It's totally doing tons of damage, right? Not really. Makes you think he has more HP on this route, but I can't tell you that. I know his other, you know, the cube does have more life. I don't know if his eyes have more life. They're dry red eyes. Except these are blue. Maybe they're Mako infused. This is a great test of patience when you have single fire. It's not a fun one. This is why you shouldn't ram your R-Wing into a wall. And so you have to shoot him. The thing on top is silver now, and you have to, you know, knock it to blue, then knock it to... Ugh. But it turns into a demonic Andros, and it's like, what? What is this? Now he gets a lot more intense. There's a lot more shooting out at you. There's even sh shots shooting at you now. It's still easier to blow him up this time, but... Eh... It's still really hard to do with single fire. It's just a battle of patience again, I say. No. And okay, let's do this for reals this time with twin fire. Once more with feeling. So yeah, with twin fire, it's a lot more easy. <laughs> this boss isn't actually that hard. Even that um demon-looking goat head he has. See, I already destroyed one of the eyes. Yeah, single fire just... Ooh, well. I can do single fire challenges in 64, but that's 64. 64 is a lot easier than this game. To be perfectly honest. Let's try on expert mode. Then your wings are made out of paper. But generally, this fight still isn't that bad. Just, you know, shoot him when he's open, all that good stuff. Get rid of his defenses, and then he'll transform into the demon thing again, and then same process really. Barrel roll and shoot stuff. You know, what we've been doing this, this entire game. Oh yeah, the, the um, uh, platforms can clip your wings and if you know you lose your wings, you lose your double fire, so don't let that happen. If anything has to take a hit, let it be the main body, even if that makes you take more damage because that's better than your wings getting hit. Just, just spam that fire button when he's open, because you don't want to be doing this too many times. Like, at most, I think you should be doing this four times, but if you're quick on the uptake, you should only have to do it three times. 
I don't know if that bomb actually helped that much. I just did it because bombs. So there's a there's a quick pattern you can do to avoid everything, and it's the one I'm showing off of right now. Barrel roll to the left, shoot, barrel roll to the right, shoot, barrel left, back and forth, back and forth. And you won't get hit by anything. Fairly certain. You do get hit by something, call my toll free number at oh wait. And yeah, I if I need to shoot him like once more, I could have gotten it in two goes, but whatever. Mission complete. This game is now officially complete. And with that, I shall leave you on a high note. You can enjoy the credits, or you can stop now. That that's up to you. I will be seeing you when we continue my Let's Player's journey in. An indie game on this Freedom Planet. So until then, folks, enjoy the credits. Mission complete! Enjoy everything, and I, yeah, I hope you legitimately enjoyed this game. It's one of my, well, one of my favorite Nintendo series, so with that, I'll actually stop this time. <laughs> enjoy General Pepper's talk and enjoy everything else. Jedi Supersonic signing out.